Yeah, hi guys. So let's, let's look at this question here. It's a good, good question. A very good concept actually. So we'll be seeing uh, two methods to solve this question, and both the methods are important. Uh, you should learn both the method methods, right? Okay. So the question says that how many pairs of integers are there such that twice the sum of the integers is equal to the product? Fine. So first of all, you understand that uh, if you assume any variable here, let's say let's say I assume that my in, my integers here are okay. So I'll assume my integers here are a and b. So I can write my equation as a plus b. Sorry, twice, है ना? So I can write my equation as twice of a plus b is equal to a b, है ना? So twice the sum of the integers is equal to their product. So twice into a plus b equal to a b, right? That will eventually become two a plus two b is equal to a b, right? So you understand that this what we have done actually we have assumed variables a and b here. Okay, so a and b are my assumed variables here. So assumed variables means I am looking for unordered solutions. Unordered solution because the question doesn't contain variables. So questions uh, variables are not defined in the question, right? So I am looking for unordered solution means what do you mean by unordered solution means if if we have x comma y is two comma three, so two comma three or three comma two. It is counted as only one solution. Okay, whereas in ordered solution, if I write x comma y as two comma three, then it is also can three comma two, and then it will be counted as two solutions here, right? So I taught earlier also when variables are defined in the question, it's a case of ordered solution. Okay, that means they are treating x and y or a and b as different variables. But when I assume this a and b as variables, that means I am not supposed to interchange both the value. I can say, okay, a and b are my assumed variables, and then a will be two, b will be four, and a will be four, b will be two. That we are doing hypothetically, right? That is that is not correct, right? So that's why, if we assume variables, that means variables are not defined in the question. That's a case of unordered unordered solution. So we should not change the order. Two comma three or three comma two is counted as only one solution. Fine. Okay. So now let's look at method one to solve this question here. Okay. So look at method one to solve this question. Now. So we have this 2a plus 2b is equal to ab. So I can write 2a is equal to a minus 2 into b, and I can write b is equal to some 2a upon a minus 2. Okay. So again, this is a standard form in algebra or in number system. Okay, where we have some uh, variable uh, in denominator here. Okay, so we have got some variable in denominator that is a minus 2, है ना? That is a here and In numerator also we have a. So in this we are trying to write this in the form of any constant, right? That means numerator should not should not contain this a. So I want to remove this a here. How how I can remove this a here? So we have a minus two in denominator. So if I if I am able to bring some a minus two in numerator also, okay? So I can cancel that part. So how can I bring how can I bring a minus two in numerator? So we have only one two here, right? So I need to bring a minus two in numerator. So two into two is four. So that means I need to subtract four here. Okay. So if I need to subtract four, then I'll, then I'll add four also. Okay. So let's subtract four, and then let's add four here. Now what does this become here? So it actually it's I can see that this will be equal to what? So b will be equal to two uh, a minus four. I can take a uh, two common. That will be a minus two plus four upon A minus two. I can further write as b is equal to now two. This will get cancelled. So two plus four upon a minus two. Correct? No. Now I know that a and b are integers. So for b to be for b to be integer, this four upon a minus two should be an integer, है ना? So for four upon a minus two be an integer, a minus two should be factor of four. Okay. And factor uh, are natural factors are natural numbers, but also in this condition I can also bring in a negative sign also because these are only integers, right? So what about the factors of four here? So I can I can write my a minus two here as so my a minus two will be equal to what? So a minus two can be equal to uh, the factors of four here. It can be one. A minus two can be two. A minus two can be four. Okay. So also a minus two can be now all the negatives and also it can be minus one, it can be minus two, it can be minus four, correct? So correspondingly, I'll get the value of a here. So what is the value of a now? So a minus two is one, so a equal to three. A minus two is two, so a equal to four. A minus two is four, so a is equal to six. 
a minus 2 is minus 1, so a equal to 1, a minus 2 is minus 2, so a is 0, and a minus 2 is minus 4, so a is equal to 2, a is equal to, uh, yeah, minus, a minus 2 is minus 4, now. so a will be equal to minus 2, that's the condition here, fine. Now, if I get the, this, these are the values of a, so I can get the value of b also, so in this equation, I'll be putting the value of a, no, so like we have this 4 upon a minus 2, the first is a3. So here, if I put a3, what is the value of b now? 2 plus 4 upon 3 minus 2. So 2 plus 4 upon 3 minus 2. So 3 minus 2 is 1 and 2 plus 4 is 6. That means at a equal to 3, I'll be getting b equal to 6. Correct. So at a equal to 3, I'll be getting b equal to 6. Similarly, I'll get all the values here. Okay, so let's write all the values now. So corresponding values here. Okay. So if I see here at a equal to 3, b equal to 6, at a equal to 4, we'll be getting b equal to 4. At a equal to 6, I'll be getting 4 upon 4 is 1. So this is 3. At a equal to 1, 4 upon is minus, uh, at a equal to 1, uh, 1 minus 2 is minus 1. So 2 plus 4 by minus 1 is 2 minus 4, that is minus 2. So that is minus 2. Now at a equal to 0, it also becomes 0 because uh, 2 minus 2 will become 0 and at a equal to minus 2, okay, I'll be getting 1 here, okay. So now I told that initially only you know, that we are looking for only unordered solution, right? So that means 3 comma 6, if I count it as a comma b, if I count, then I should, shouldn't count 6 comma 3 because it's just the change of variable, right? So 3, 6 and 6, 3, both are same things, right? That will get same result. But since because a and b are not defined in the question, we have assumed it. So we are solving for unordered solution means 6, 3 and 3, 6 will not count as two separate pairs. 4, 4 is counted, yes. Similarly, 1, comma minus 2 and minus 2, comma 1 should not be counted. Okay, because both are a similar thing. So any one should be counted, other should be neglected. And then a0 and b0. That basically means that we have got four solutions for this question here. Okay, so 4 is the answer four solutions for this question. Okay. So how many pairs of integers are there? So four is the answer. Four pairs. What are the pairs? You can get the pairs to be a comma b is what? It is like three comma six. Okay. Then it is a four comma four. Then it is uh, one comma minus two. And then it is zero comma zero. So we have got four solutions here. Four pairs. Right. That's the first method to solve this question okay now let's look at method two so method two is also a good method to learn here yeah? okay now in method two you understand that so again uh my part of this much only so i'll be writing here uh two uh, two into a plus b is equal to a b and then i can write here so we have uh this uh, a b minus two a minus two b equal to zero correct now I can take from these two, I am, I am trying to factorize this. I can take here a common, right? So I will become, I, it becomes b minus 2. Now to factorize this further, I have minus 2b here. Anna? And again, I need in bracket, in bracket, I must be needing some b minus 2 here. So b minus 2, if I need something in bracket and minus 2 is already outside, that means minus 2 into minus 2 is 4. That means to bring up b minus 2, I should add 4 here. So if I add 4 both sides, what does what uh, uh, how does this equation changes so i can i can, I can factorize now why because this is a into b minus 2 if from here you take minus 2 common it again becomes b minus 2 right, that's that that's what i was trying right so in this equation i was trying to get a minus b minus 2 here okay so now you got it how i got it by adding plus 4 both sides right? and this is equal to 4 so now a minus 2 into b minus 2 will be equal to 4 okay so basically, how many pairs of a and b? So there are how many ways of writing? I can write a as 1 into 4, okay, as a minus 1 into minus 4, as 2 into 2, and as minus 2 into minus 2, okay. So I can say that there are 4, uh, I don't need to calculate the, uh, the values of a and b. I can say that there are 4 pairs here. So corresponding, I'll be getting 4 pairs of values of a and b. So 4 should be the answer. If you want to calculate, you can calculate. Like a minus 2 is 1. So a will be equal to 3, b minus 2 is 4, so b will be equal to 6. Like a minus 2 is minus 1, so a will be equal to uh, 1, b minus 2 is minus 4, so b will be equal to minus 2. So you can see that you're getting all these values, 1 minus 2, 3, 6, 
हाँ लाइक इन द लास्ट फ्लाइट वी गॉट राइट सो लाइक दिस इज हाउ विल गेट फोर सोल्यूशन दैट इज द आंसर ओके सो गुड क्वेश्चन गाइड अ गुड क्वेश्चन अ गुड कॉन्सेप्ट ओके सो हू विल लर्न समथिंग थैंक यू and also also this combat guys okay so this a uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so there easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo- moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like Away, uh, we are around eight to ten months away from CAT, so the questions we put off may be some uh, easier or medium level range, but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level, okay? And uh, all the LRD sets also, um, this quant questions also, and basically it's a fun, it's fun, right? Actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get to get get to get your live ranking, okay? Then uh, after every question, the faster you answer, the better your rank, the better your rank is, right? You get more points. So actually, the, those one hour test is a fun. And actually, if you look at the CAT, you should give uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and tests before CAT, okay? And this one of your high quality tests, absolutely free of cost. And uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding, but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this. I think, okay. So rank one to three, one year subscription, I think around twenty thousand or seventy five percent scholarship or fifty percent. So sir, so great prizes are on offer here. Okay, so get it live from your mobile app. You just put the uh, link here. I'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here. Ravi Roda, it ask you for invite code. It is absolutely absolutely free of cost. Okay, so ask you for invite code. Put Ravi Roda and the link I'll put in description. Just enroll from there. Okay, and do give this every Sunday. Do give this at twelve pm. It's on every Sunday. Okay, so every Sunday, give this on twelve p.m. Thank you.